Bob is a happy-go-lucky person. He loves partying and hanging out with his friends. He values his independence to the point that he is not interested in starting a family. Bob has a girlfriend, Stephanie. She is pretty and she loves Bob so much. One weekend, Bob visited his mother, Valerie, who lived in another city. As they chatted, his mother opened up a conversation he is not pleased about. Son, I and your father are not getting any younger. I like Stephanie's attitude. She is a really nice girl. She would make a great wife for you. I've always wanted to have a grandchild. Mom, you know I'm not ready yet. I don't need to start a family right now. But son, I've seen you date many girls before. It is about time for you to have a stable relationship. I only want what's best for you. I said no, mom. No. End of discussion. Bob went outside and his father, Lionel, followed him. They sat on the porch and talked about what happened. Son, I know how you feel, and I understand you. I was like you when I was younger. I dated many girls, and I was contented just being with my friends and having fun. But when I grew older and met your mother, I started to settle down. But I'm not like you, Dad. I'm not interested in starting a family. Not today, not ever. But who will take care of you when you grow old? Please stop this lifestyle, son. It is not good for you. I am happy with my life as it is, so no, thank you. Bob got inside his car and drove off. While driving, his parents' words kept on playing in his mind. But as he values his independence more, he just shrugged it off. Bob drives an Uber for a living. He earns at least $3,000 a week. He is very frugal and only rented a room for $500 a month so he can spend his extra money in clubbing and partying with his friends and girlfriend. One night, while they were out for the night, Stephanie asked him, Love, we've been together for almost a year now. I have a problem with my family and it is so hard living with them. Can I move in with you? I think it's about time as we are in a long-term relationship. Move in? Are you out of your mind? I am not ready to move in with anybody and for the responsibilities along with it. No, I can't do it, not even with you. Stephanie was shocked and cried. She was hurt with what Bob said. But I love you, Bob. I thought you loved me too. I do love you, but I don't think I can let go of my lifestyle of having fun for now. I'm sorry, Stephanie. Please delete my number, and I'm going to delete yours. I can't give you what you want. I'm sorry. Let's break up. He left Stephanie alone and drove off. Stephanie has also blocked him in Facebook and all other social media accounts she has, totally cutting off their ties. He continued living his life to the fullest, partying and clubbing. He stuck to his lifestyle even with the pandemic going on. A couple of days later, he started feeling sick. He went to the hospital to be checked and found out from the doctor his fear. He tested positive with coronavirus. He tried to hide his condition from his housemates and stayed in his room, but he can't stop coughing. His roommate asked him if he's feeling okay, and that's when he confessed that he is positive with COVID-19. His housemates avoided him, and the owner of the house kicked him out since they don't want to get infected along with their kids. Bob had no choice but to go back to the hospital. He was admitted with hopes of being treated. Stephanie learned about his condition through Facebook and she felt sad, but she can't do anything about it. He called his mother and told her about his condition, but it was too late. Visitors were not allowed and his parents were not able to take care of him. He tried reaching out to Stephanie, but he already deleted her phone number. He deeply regretted his life's decisions. He realized he should have listened to his parents' advice and changed his lifestyle. He should have settled down while he was healthy and COVID-19 free. Now he's alone and dying. Three days later, Bob died in the hospital, alone and regretful. Stephanie learned about his death through Bob's friend, Val's post on his Facebook account. She can't believe this happened so fast, but she can't do anything about it. 
but move on. Moral. We should keep in mind that no man is an island. We cannot live on our own without family or loved ones. We should be thankful that we are loved and should make sure we love back those who are dear to us.